Hello there, this tutorial should help with 3.4 number 9. You can again spot that in the top right corner over here where it shows up in your particular homework, who knows. Alright, so let me click on view an example and we'll go over that one. So one year Larry had the lowest ERE, earned run average, mean number of runs yielded per 9 innings pitched of any male pitcher at his school with an ERA of 2.98. Also, Vanessa had the lowest ERA of any female pitcher at the school with an ERA of 3.44. For the males, the, ER, the mean ERA was 4.221 and the standard deviation was 0.898. For the females, the mean ERA was 5.325 and the standard deviation was 0.799. Find the respective z-scores. Which player had the better year relative to their peers, Larry or Vanessa? Okay, so again, um, if we look at... ERE, earned run average, it's the number of runs yielded per nine innings. So every time you pitch nine innings, about how many how many runs do you yield to the batters? So these, these two people, Larry and Vanessa, are pitchers. Okay, so Larry, where is it? Um, he had an ERE of 2.98. That's very low, right? And Vanessa is 3.44. So obviously Larry's lower than Vanessa. But it's not really fair to compare them because obviously the male game is different than the female game. Okay, so now we have to find their respective z-scores. And you can do that a couple ways. So let me just write this out first. So, And again, you don't have to type this in Excel or anything. You can just do this with um, a piece of paper. But I'm just using it. So the mean for the males was, um, where was it? 4.221. 4.221. The standard deviation was 0.898. And again, you could just write this down on paper. It doesn't have to be like this. I'm just trying to organize ourselves here. So she had 3.44, but the me female mean was, oh, where is it? 5.325, 5.325, and a standard deviation was 0.799. Okay, so this was the male mean, the male standard deviation. This is the female mean and the female standard deviation. There we go. Ugh, why did I do it that way? I don't know. Okay. There we go. Just trying to keep things clear here. All right. So we've organized our ideas. So now we need to find the z-scores. So the z-score you can find a couple ways. You can find it using the formula. Now remember the formula for it. It's x minus the mean over sigma, or x minus x bar over s, whatever the case might be. This won't make any difference to us. So equals parentheses 2.98, take away the mean of 4.221, close your parentheses, divide by the standard deviation of 0.898. The other way to do that is equals standardize. It's a um, standard Excel formula. And of course, you can only use this if you have Excel. So if you don't have Excel, don't bother. So standardize, click 2.98, comma 4.221, comma 0.898, or in our case, B1, B2, B3, enter. And there you got it. Now with a calculator, you're going to have to use this calculation part that we did up here. It's the same idea. So let me grab the calculator. Clear. So you click parentheses, 2.98 minus. 4. Point, oh, rats, what was it? 4.221221, close parentheses, divide by 0 0.898. Oh, you guys probably don't like that. There we go. That way it looks better for you. I want to double check those numbers before I press enter. Yep, everything's good. Enter. And there you go. Simple as that. So this would be using the formula. You'd probably do this more on a paper and pencil test or something like that. And if you have Excel, then, you know, use it. Fine. Doesn't matter to me. All right. So there's Larry's Z-score. Now Vanessa's Z-score. Oh, I hope this is big enough for you guys to see here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So Vanessa's Z-score is the same idea. Equals. And I know I could actually copy and paste my formula, but I want to show you guys how to do it again. 3.44 minus the mean, which is cell D2, close parentheses, divided by 0.799, like that. Or you could just use standardize. So equals standardize D1, D2, D3. Simple as that. Here, I'll type it up for you. Standardize. It wants X first, which is her score, comma, the mean, 
which is that cell, comma, standard deviation. Done. And again with Excel, or excuse me, with the calculator, you type parentheses, 3.44 minus, uh, I think it was 5.325. Close parentheses, divided by something that I can't remember, 0 0.799. There you go. So there we have it. Done. So let me color code these to be all sexist about it. She'll, she'll be pink. He'll be blue. All right. So now what do they want to know? They probably want to know who's doing better. Well, that's an interesting question because when you're a pitcher, you don't want people to have a lot of runs on you, right? So to be better in this case would actually to be lower, right? Better equals lower number of runs, right? Now, in real life, Larry was doing better because he's only allowing 2.98. Ah, but he was negative 1.38 standard deviations below the mean. So he's low, but she's unusually low. Look at Vanessa's score. She's past two standard deviations. So she's letting very few runs through for being a female player. And you can see it here. I mean, the big difference is the mean. The female mean is so much higher. So yeah, Vanessa's letting more runs in, but compared to the female mean, it's much lower than it is for Larry. All right. So if they ask who's the better pitcher, actually Vanessa's the better pitcher. Because her z-score is lower, which means she's letting in um, less batters are hitting the ball when she pitches. Relative to all other female pitchers. Let's put it that way. Okay. So Larry's letting in less period, but she's letting in less in when you compare her to the rest of her group. So when you compare her to other female pitchers, she's doing a better job. When you compare Larry to other male pitchers, he's doing good, but he's not as good as her. Right? So he's good at her in absolute terms. He's better than her in absolute terms, but not better than her in relative terms. In relative terms, Vanessa's doing a better job because her z-score is lower. Now, if this was, I don't know, basketball, and you want to know who was scoring better, you'd want them both to be positive, and then the bigger number would be the better thing, right? But in this case, because it's pitching, the lower number is actually the better thing. So let's see if they actually asked that question, though. I don't know if they did. So 4.221, yay. And then negative 2 point, see, negative 1.38, negative 2.36. And it says um, z-score measures the number of standard deviations. So comparing the z-scores, they're both negative. The player with a smaller z-score did better relative to their peers, right? So Vanessa is the better pitcher. Oh, see, they did ask that. All right, so we're all done with that problem. Oh, and did I ever show you? Yep, I showed you how to make them both with both a calculator or with Excel, whatever works for you. And actually, you could probably do it in StackCrunch as well if you wanted to. All right, I hope that helps.